Yes, you are reading this right. Sony buys Bungie for $3.6 billion. <laughs> um, look, there's a lot to kind of comment off of this. I'm going to be kind of reading this as I go. I'm not going to update that meme video. Hell no. I already was hesitant about doing it. Thank you so much for the reception about that, by the way. Um, and I thought it was going to be a fun week where I could just talk about whatever the heck I wanted. And I do want to talk about this, so I guess it works out, but um, let's just get into this, because it is really weird to see Bungie, of all people, and uh, we'll talk about that more at, towards the end, but let's just go through. This is from IGN, uh, Matt Kim. The actual article comes from GameIndustry.biz. I keep trying to click on it. It doesn't work for some reason, so we're just going to go off of this, which sums it up perfectly, but basically, Sony Interactive Entertainment has acquired, or, eh, sorry, has announced it will acquire Destiny developer Bungie for $3.6 billion. Uh, that is also very comparable to, um, I think it was Minecraft and Mojang that was bought for like $4 billion. So this was actually a nice get. <laughs> I, I don't know. Anyways, um, Game Industry.biz reports that the following deal, Bungie will run as an, this is important, an independent subsidiary of Sony Interactive Entertainment. It will remain a multi-platform studio with the option to self-publish and reach players where they choose. I want to talk about that. Uh, Bungie is best known as creators of Halo, which is crazy, but since becoming an independent studio, have focused their efforts on Destiny, a live service first-person shooter RPG where players can explore the galaxy as Guardians of the Light. The company is also known for working on a new IP, which... I think there's actually two new IPs that uh, Bungie are working on. Um, and, uh, you know, IGN here showcases, look at all these well-reviewed games that are all freaking Halo. Um, talk about that in a moment. But we've had, a, and uh, Sony t says, we've had a strong partnership with Bungie since the inception of Destiny franchise. And I couldn't be more thrilled to officially welcome the studio to the PlayStation family, says uh, CEO Jim Ryan from Sony. And in the PlayStation blog post, Ryan confirms uh, Bungie's independence. I want it to be clear to the community that Bungie will remain an independent and multi-platform studio and publisher. I want to talk about that. Uh, Ryan also says that Bungie will sit alongside the Bungie Studios organization, where the two groups will collaborate. PlayStation Studios will also gain access to Bungie's proprietary tools, which can be used for PlayStation Studios teams, according to the blog. And in a separate blog post... Bungie detailed what the acquisition means for the company, calling out uh, Sony Interactive Entertainment, a partner who unconditionally supports us in all we are and who wants to accelerate our vision to create generation-spanning entertainment, all while preserving the creative independence that beats in Bungie's heart. So... Um, the, the rest of this is kind of just, you know, they're restating, you know, last year PlayStation got Bluepoint, Housemark, and supportive teams like Nix and Valkyrie Entertainment and stuff. And, you know, PlayStation's been getting a lot of studios last year. And it's, and Bungie reaffirms that its ability to independently publish and develop games even after the acquisition, and that it's committed to supporting games and communities where they choose to play. So, this is super freaking interesting to me because um, there's going to be a lot of people, and I know there's going to be toxic things in the comments here because I've just attracted fan flag waving people, whatever. I don't want to do that here. I just like to talk about stuff that's interesting. That's it. And this is so interesting because of all of the studios, honestly, I probably would have talked about it if it was any notable studio, but. Bungie specifically, the people that created <laughs> the flagship franchise for Xbox <laughs> is going to be a PlayStation studio. And then you got over on Xbox, you got Crash Bandicoot and Spyro, who were once flagship icons of PlayStation, soon to become Xbox icons. And that's just wild to see, like, I feel like, are we experiencing football? Are we experiencing when, like, te like team players get traded out to a new team? Is that what this is like? Um, 
Now, a lot of people, you know, they're, they're, they might comment off of like, oh, this is nothing compared to the Activision deal or whatever, which it isn't. It's an entire publisher. And this isn't them like, okay, is it though? <laughs> it's not, but for Sony to buy Bungie of all people, and there's a lot of folks that maybe thought like, oh, why would why didn't wouldn't Xbox do that? I think I think Bungie they want to stay an independent studio. They cheered when they no longer had to work with Activision anymore. That was a day that literally the whole building heard that studio in that office space just scream out of excitement. So they want to keep their independence, and they've had it for the past two years, I think. Um, and who knows, maybe they just decided, you know what, we do need that backing. We're not really able to stay afloat without that backing. Who knows? I haven't looked into it too much. Let me know if you found out. And they decide they want to work with somebody again. And I guess they have made that relationship with Sony Interactive Entertainment, a.k.a. PlayStation. It's also really interesting to see, and, and sorry, they don't want to go back to Xbox potentially as in terms of like, if they had a company that owned them or they were partnered with because one they already worked with xbox and they decided you know let's part ways activision they were ready to get out of and now that activision's coming to xbox they probably just don't want to do that again or even be anywhere near them so it makes sense you know it makes sense that bungie of all people would want to go the playstation route what is really interesting though is this idea of them still being an independent studio that can publish, that can publish everywhere, still be a multi-platform studio right here. Bungie will remain an independent and multi-platform studio and publisher. So says Ryan. Now, there are things that Jim Ryan has said in the past, just like any corporation out there. This is not me throwing shade at PlayStation. Everybody's done it. But Jim Ryan has definitely said things before that did not stay true. And there's a reason when Bethesda got acquired by Microsoft, everybody was on the fence if they would be exclusive. They were on the fence because Xbox was willing to make Minecraft multi-plat and they were willing to let Cuphead go multi-plat. They're, they're a lot more open of a publisher and company than PlayStation is because PlayStation thrives on their exclusives. So it's really interesting to see that if this partnership goes down, which it most likely will, that they'll let Bungie stay an independent multi-platform studio. That is really interesting because, like I said, Jim said things before. Oh, yeah, we want to leave behind the last gen to focus on the next gen. That didn't happen. You see Horizon, God of War, uh, Gran Turismo and stuff still being on PlayStation 4. And blah, 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 blah. But... So I just find that really interesting, and I'm curious if that actually holds true. I am very happy for Bungie. It is a studio that I will always have some form of a, you know, fondness in my heart because Halo is my all-time favorite game franchise. And if this helps them make great games, I honestly believe it will because PlayStation does a great job with their first-party studios, at least I believe. <laughs> they make great games, and Bungie will hopefully have great backing to do that so this is overall good news for the industry and especially if they can stay multi-platform then there you go <laughs> but what i want to know is is this the biggest acquisition i didn't bother to look into that so let me know that in the comments and how does it feel to see the creator of halo <laughs> the creator of halo going to soon be a playstation owned studio I think that's so funny to see these trade-offs, but let me know what you think in the comments. Please keep it healthy down there, and don't forget to be geek, be proud, be awesome.